If you watched the previous video in the series, then you will know the Cherenkov Telescope Array has three main goals. Number one, understanding cosmic particles. Number two, probing extreme environments. Number three, exploring frontiers in physics. In the last video, we explained understanding cosmic particles, and in this one, we will move to the second goal, probing extreme environments. The CTA is going to be able to detect very high energy gamma rays. These are only produced in really energetic environments like black holes and neutron stars. When stars about eight times bigger than our sun reach the end of their lives, they explode in an event called a supernova. These explosions are ridiculously powerful and can outshine galaxies made up of billions of stars. Here you can see galaxy NGC 4526. It's made up of billions of stars. In the left corner, you can see a really bright object, brighter than the galaxy itself. This is supernova SN 1994D, and as you can see, it is powerful enough to outshine the whole galaxy. Being brighter than entire galaxies is pretty impressive, but in case you're not yet convinced of a supernova's unprecedented power, let's talk about supernova ASA SSN 15LH. It's cool for two reasons. Firstly, its name looks like assassin, and secondly, it's the brightest supernova ever observed. Here are some facts about this supernova to show how powerful star explosions can be. It is 580 billion times brighter than our sun. Every second of the explosion, it produces more energy than our sun in 18,000 years. Using atoms to create energy is really powerful. Converting a pea-sized amount of uranium can produce a nuclear bomb, but the energy of the explosion is like turning the entire moon into pure energy every 30 seconds. And finally, the supernova has the power equivalent of 10, followed by 32 zeros, Ferraris going at full throttle. This gives you an idea of how powerful these supernovae are. Although the explosion itself is really interesting, what is left behind is exciting as well. After the explosion, a black hole or neutron star can be left behind. Neutron stars are really small, hot and dense spinning stars produced when stars about 10 times the mass of the sun go supernova. After the supernova has expelled lots of material, the remaining star collapses under gravity to nuclear densities. As their name suggests, they are made up entirely of neutrons. These have been produced by the collapse forcing electrons inside protons. They are so dense that a sugar cube sized chunk of neutron star would weigh the same as a million blue whales. If the neutron star weighs more than three suns, it will collapse further and become a black hole. These are so dense that nothing can escape their gravitational pull, not even light itself. Black holes are fascinating objects as they are so dense that our current understanding of physics breaks down. They have an event horizon, which is a point of no return for objects near a black hole. If anything passes beyond this point, it can never escape. Black holes are really important as their extreme nature can be used to test our current understanding of gravity and quantum physics. Black holes, neutron stars and supernovae all give off gamma rays because they are such high energy objects. The CTA will be able to study these exciting objects in great detail by collecting gamma rays. They will use these gamma ray observations to work out how supernovas evolve and what is going on around black holes. They also may discover brand new objects that are even more powerful. Discovering and observing supernovas, black holes and neutron stars is just one of the main goals for the CTA. Watch the next video to learn about another goal or scan the QR code on the screen to be taken to the CTA website to learn more.